Hi there, Kent Lawson from Smart House Electric. I have brought you here to my home tanning bed here. Uh, a pretty basic unit, uh, but it still has an electronic board and 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 uh, compensation for um, uh, for the induction and all this kind of good stuff that you will find in a more advanced machine. So I'm going to give you some general troubleshooting skills uh, on this machine and um, to give you an idea that you then can replicate to uh, to the machine that you particularly are looking at. Uh, live power on this uh, machine right now and so knowing that if you put your finger on something that is not insulated, uh, let's say a connector or, or something like that, a wire that's exposed, that this could this can actually kill you very easily or it's definitely put you in the hospital so this is something to be very very uh, safe with and make sure that you always have um, that you use gear uh, that is insulated and so that you don't accidentally uh, touch something of metal that, that leads electricity so um, I will try to mention this as we go along here, uh, but um, this first video is about how to measure voltage. And um, to do that, you need a multimeter. And the reason why I say a multimeter is that if this is something that you would like to do, uh, particularly for a living or you're doing it for a, uh, a tanning salon or stuff like that, um, you don't want to use a volt, uh, an old-fashioned voltmeter. It's just so limited. That's the only thing you can do. Where a multimeter can do many things, and you're gonna need that. And so, um, if you follow my YouTube channel, you'll find out um, just just um, how many things that you can actually do with with some, uh, with an instrument like this. And so, um, this is from Harbor Freights. Um, I like it. It's it's a nice, very big, visible uh, readout, and and then you pick your um, uh, your measuring area with this big shifter here. And for measuring voltage, we need to get over here. You see, there's like a little wave shape here next to the V for volt. And if you're not sure about um, how power works um, uh, then I, there was a, another video on that um, uh, about Ohm's law and uh, one about uh, Kirchhoff's law is telling about parallel and serial and so I will recommend watching those first before watching this one um, so uh, this means this wave shape here means AC and that's the kind of power that your tanning bed runs on. Your lamps are being powered by that. That's what's coming out of your wall outlet. And so it has different ranges. This is 200 and 700 all the way up as max. And you want to be at the one um, that, that doesn't get exceeded as far as the voltage that you're expecting to measure. Um, my home unit here is running a little bit hot. It should be getting a buck booster really to really utilize the lamps uh, perfectly, having the perfect output and also make sure that they last long. But um, uh, I have access to lamps like uh, like <laughs> like crazy, so um, I've just been a little lazy. So I'm running my full line voltage um, uh, into this machine and so that's what we're going to be measuring so you can see that um, so this is the area that you're going to put it in uh, for measuring this voltage and then we need our our probes as these are called um, they're well insulated that's the whole idea Make sure you inspect these before you use them. They have a tendency on cheap ones like these 
I mean, this, this gets even worse as far as quality goes. But look at here, right, as it goes into the probe, sometimes that breaks open and becomes exposed directly to the cover, um, to, to the actual wire inside. And so, oh, sorry. Um, so inspect that before you start using it, because that's very, very unsafe. And if that's cracked open here, replace them. I want to say it's about ten dollars for a uh, for a new set of good probes from like Fry's Electronic, or you can go online and find a, a killer deal on it. So, um, okay, so a red probe just for order. It doesn't that matter because AC uh, runs in both directions. Uh, so um, it doesn't matter that much if the red gets into the black or so forth. But as you can see here. It says a little V here for volts. It's an ohm sign. That's for resistance. And then hertz, which is interesting. That's the frequency of the power. Because it goes in waves. So how many of those per second is going to indicate with that measurement. So that's where we're going to put a positive. It's kind of a little bit backwards. I should probably have shown you the common first. But that's... You always have the black uh, one in the black and the one that says uh, com. Uh, that's the common. And um, yeah, that's always uh, the measurement. And so now we're going to be able to measure voltage. And you're, this is kind of a, a big one to carry around in your tool bag. And it's easily damaged here on the uh, on this big uh, screen, and so and so it's it's not quite rigid, so totally usable, a, a great buy uh, as an entry entry level tech. Um, if you really want something durable, you can go with the brand Fluke. Um, that's the top of the line. I think it's a little bit uh, over the top. For um, for tanning bed uh, service and repair, but they last forever, and uh, they are what's called the true RMS. That means that they are so precise that um, they can be used for a laboratory. Anyway, so I recommend using a a a meter like like this little guy here. Um, much more simple. It it has some uh, automatic sel uh, area selection where we looked at where we have to put it at 700 volt max. This one here figures out by itself. It has a limit of six 600 at the um, at alternating current that we need to measure it with. That's our power uh, type power, and but. Other than that, it's going to choose its its uh, its range from there automatically. So that's kind of nice. And um, it does the same for DC. And it does the same for um, for resistance and continuity tests. Uh, well, continuity tests, there's no range there. But anyway, but for all these, it has auto range. Um, and then up here, there's no auto range, but... So, um, what's interesting about these is that we are able to measure current with this gadget. The one we had before, you really can't because um, you have to, t to connect the meter in series with the load. And that's not possible in our case. We have some very, very high loads to measure on these appliances. So, you have to have one of these guys here that can clamp on. This is called also called a clamp on meter. And so what you do is you clamp the wire a, a lead inside of this opening and then you can measure how much current there is there is on there. So this is cer certainly what I recommend to use. So but let's get back to our voltage reading. And um, let's just use this one instead. So we put into common, and then this one only has 
one choice for volts because it cannot measure uh, current amperes through the through the gadget here so and we don't need that because we have this um, this um, this clamp on meter instead and we got it lit here there's a uh, function for light just have in mind that remember to turn it off when you don't need it because it's gonna hurl through your battery very very quickly okay and again be really f uh, safe about um, when you use these probes you make sure that nothing is exposed and when you hold them to measure make sure you don't have your fingers anywhere near the metal down here because um, if you just touch this a little you'll get um, you, you, you can easily get injured or get a very severe shock from these tanning beds uh, the power that goes into them and so on this machine here it's pretty basic we have a single phase load down here let's make sure we're in the right area so it's 600 volt max AC and so we just go across here and as you can see we got 241 about 240 volt 241 coming in so a bit too high these choke ballasts will run the best on 230 and so um, we certainly should be um, bucking the voltage and we have a video on how to pick out a booster and also how to uh, wire it a part two for that so this is how you measure your your voltage just simply put the prongs on make sure that you don't touch anything metal and also look at the um, uh, point where you're going to be measuring at and make sure that it looks pretty safe to put the prongs onto it could be that it's kind of gnarly so um, you should disconnect the power and then get that cleaned up with some more firm connections and not too much exposed cover so um, that's it for for this one here and uh, thank you for watching and and uh, the next video is gonna be on how to measure current